Purple Eagles Insider, the show that gives you the inside scoop on everything Niagara Athletics. I'm your host, Courtney Corbetta. Now we have a very busy show today, and first I would like to start off by recapping what our Purple Eagles have been up to. Last week in Purple Eagles action, the men's and women's soccer teams both earned big wins against Quinnipiac. The men defeated the Bobcats 1-0 in overtime, and the women shut out the max top-scoring offense 3-0. Women's soccer also played their annual Battle of the Bridge match Wednesday night. The volleyball team picked up its first conference win of the season, defeating Ryder 3-1 on Saturday and sweeping St. Peter's 3-0 on Sunday. The women's tennis team kicked off its season at the UB Invite, held Friday through Sunday. Stella Pashakova won her flight. Men's tennis participated in the Binghamton Invite, and Taylin Ozdemir won third place. The women's golf continued its fall season at the Golden Grizzlies Invitational, hosted by Oakland University on Monday and Tuesday. They finished fifth overall. Men's golf competed in the Little Three Championship, hosted by St. Bonaventure on Wednesday. This week, the women's soccer team hosts Ryder on Saturday at 1. Men's soccer takes on Ryder in Lawrenceville, New Jersey on Saturday at 1. Volleyball heads to Connecticut to face Fairfield on Saturday at 1 and Quinnipiac on Sunday at 1. Hockey is back in action, hosting Western Ontario for an exhibition on Saturday at 3 p.m. Men and women's cross country will both compete in the Paul Shore Invitational in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania on Saturday. Finally, men and women's tennis will head to Damon College for a match on Wednesday, October 5th. For information about how you can keep up with all this week's Purple Eagles action, please visit purpleeagles.com. All right, now I would like to welcome Sean Warner. He is a senior on the swimming and diving team here at Niagara. Sean, how are you doing today? Great, thank you for having me. Sean, how does it feel to be entering your senior year at Niagara? Uh, it's really exciting. I went in a blink of an eye. Last time I checked, I was freshman, and now I'm senior, leading the team, and it's just crazy. What are you expecting from this year's team? Uh, I expect a lot out of our team. We've only graduated one senior last year. He scored a couple points for us, and this year we brought in uh, six incoming freshmen. We actually picked up a current senior for the dive team, so it added more depth. Uh, so I'm expecting uh, big things this year. Now, the nine freshmen from last season, they now have a year under their belts. Do you think that's going to help them in their performance this upcoming season? Uh, I think absolutely, yes. Um, we've had, we had a couple uh, place in the top 16 last year. We had two of them in the 200 IM that actually just missed the A final. And uh, they've actually been training very hard, and they're a lot more mature now, and they know what to expect. Sean, you have set records in the 200 individual medley and the 400 freestyle relay at the MAC Championships last year. Uh, do you plan to do the same this year? Uh, last year uh, was pretty rough with injuries and other things, um, and I was able to set two other records, so I have uh, high hopes for the final year here. What would you say are some of your keys to success in the pool? Uh, a lot of the times, it's hard to jump in the water every morning, every afternoon. Uh, you just have to set goals for yourself. Um, our coach actually gave us a goal book to write things down, so it's a lot easier to focus on something for the week. So I try to find the little things to uh, make myself better each time. Can you share with us some of your goals this season? Uh, a lot of the goals consist of, um, one of them would be to win max in one of the three events. I've come close a couple times. Uh, hopefully this is the last time I can finish up top. Um, just break a couple more records, see what I can do. Yeah, sounds good to me. Now, what are some of the meets you're looking forward to this season? Uh, definitely Fredonia. Always going to Fredonia is nice because they have a very nice facility. Um, and it's a good tune-up meet to start the season with some of the higher competition that we'll have. Uh, Waterloo is always fun because we always like to do the Canadian format, which is more of a sprint-oriented thing. And then, of course, Canisius. Uh, we lost by six points last year. And uh, this year, we're only stronger, so it'll yeah. be a great racing uh, meet. What do you expect of your team this year, especially when it comes to that big Battle of the Bridge meet? I expect nothing but a win from us. <laughs> All right. I like that answer, Sean. I like that. Now, uh, MAC championships are coming up in February. Before we know it, they will be here. So how do you think your team is going to prepare for that, and you individually as well? Well, as a team, we always have the goal to purple the podium, get as many people up top as possible and get medals. 
Uh, well, we've been we've been working on all the little small things. The strength is there. We just have to work on endurance and sprinting and finishing. Uh, on my half, I know I've gotten stronger over the summer on off season. Um, it's just putting it all together when championship season comes. What are some things that you're going to continue to work on before that big MAC championship? Definitely getting stronger, uh, working on technique, and um, my new thing is to work on underwaters. Try to get as far as possible underwater before right. we start. Sounds good, Sean. Thank you so much for joining us in Thank studio. You. Good luck the rest of the season. Enjoy your senior year. And uh, thanks again for joining us on Purple Eagles Insider. Next in studio, we have Julia Casalo. She is a junior on the swimming and diving team this year. Julia, team is replacing five seniors this year. What is the chemistry like on the team? We are such a close tight-knit knit group. Mm -hmm. We have so much fun together. We always have each other's back. We're always encouraging each other. We lost those five seniors last year, but the freshman team that we got this year is so strong, and they're going to make such a huge impact on the team, so we're really excited about mm -hmm. them. It does, it does sound very exciting. So yeah. what are you expecting out of this year's team? I think we are definitely a stronger team than we were last year all around. We have way more depth um, within the girls' team this year. So I'm hoping that we can score some more points this year at the um, MAC champion in February. And that's really our huge like, goal is to focus on MAX, And that's mm -hmm. really what we work for all season. Mm -hmm. So You were very successful um, throughout last year's MAC championship. I understand you won the women's 100 butterfly. What did that win mean to you? I'm, that, it was crazy. <laughs> I'm, I never really expected that coming into college. It was never like a goal of mine. Um, so now that it happened last year, the hardest thing now is just trying to, you know, repeat and go again for that MAC champion. Um, and so, I mean, that's all that I'm focusing on this year. I'm not letting any of the little meets get in the way. It's just focusing on the MAC uh, 100 fly again is my really big goal. Mm -hmm. So throughout the year, you plan on building on that success to yeah. uh, be just as successful this February. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the meets you are looking forward to this season? We have a lot of meets that we had last year again this year but one that we is new this year is um, against the University of New Hampshire which is like a crazy fast school so it's going to be a lot of fun to just like have that competition and to be swimming against girls that are like it's just they're going to be it's going to be crazy but it's going to be a lot of fun um, so that's exciting and always looking forward to Canisius because of that rivalry it'll be a close meet it'll be a lot of fun mm -hmm. I think we'll have a lot of fun with that one. Big battle of the bridge that's and true. that's after Christmas that's in January. Mm -hmm. But you do open the season at Fredonia on October 7th. How is your team preparing for that? Right now, we're focusing mostly on just building our strength up in the pool. We're, um, it's the third week of practice. We're getting into the swing of things right now. Like, we're all really, you know, like tired, sore. It's like exhausting. But um, Fredonia is like a great way to start out the uh, season. It's a great way for the freshmen and the newcomers to like get used to how the meet works, and we're really excited about Fredonia. It's always a fun meet. Mm -hmm. Now, individually, how are you preparing? I think just mental at this point. Um, what happens in the pool is going to happen in the pool. Um, I think mentally is my biggest weakness. I just need to like mentally prepare myself for the, that meet and for the rest of the meets along the season. I understand you have the uh, Zippy invite, which is coming up uh, in December, so in a few months, and that's in Ohio. Uh, from past experiences with the team, you've had your best performances at Max and the Zippy invite. Why do you think that is? Um, you know, Akron is such a nice pool, and we race some really, really fast teams there. Um, to get the chance, we put on our tech suits, and we kind of relax a little bit the week before, so it's... It's just a really nice meet to go and you kind of get a taste of what Max is going to be like and you're racing in such a fast pool and it's just a really fun atmosphere. We're all having a great time and going away and staying in hotels like we it's just a great time. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I was going to ask you is does the atmosphere play into your performance at events such as that? Yeah, the atmosphere is such a, it plays such a huge role. Um, you know, the more fun we have, the more like relaxed we are and the better we'll race and when we have like a meet where we're all tense and worried about it, we do so bad in the pool. Mm -hmm. So like being fun, having fun and relaxing is like, it's so, sorry, so important. Mm -hmm. Especially at Max. I mean, that's, that's a big mm -hmm. championship. A lot of fans are coming out yeah. to support. Yeah, we really try 
from a mental aspect, we really try to relax during um, before Max because that's just we worked all season for Max, so like we are in the best shape we've ever been. So you're gonna swim well no matter what. It's just the only thing that gets in our way is our heads. So we work really hard on trying to keep that out of it. All right, Julia, thank you so much thank for joining you. us in studio. Thank Thanks you. again for joining us on Purple Eagles Insider. Last week, our Niagara athletes participated in the annual NU Thankathon. I was able to catch up with some of the athletes at Dwyer Arena. Hey everyone, Courtney Corbetta here. It's Niagara Athletics annual Thankathon. Taking a break from practice, our athletes are giving thanks to those who have donated to the Purple and White Club throughout the year. So let's check out the inside of Dwyer and see what they're up to. Hey everyone, look who I found, Steve Butler, Deputy Director of Athletics. Steve, what are our athletes up to today? Yeah, tonight's our thankathon, so we're calling all the gracious donors who benefited us last year, so we're making that personal touch to them. Thank you can really go a long way. Especially when it comes from the student athlete who is the ultimate recipient of their gift and, and the donation, and it's a, it's a uh, personalized way for us just to say thanks. Now this is the Thankathon's fourth year, is that it? That's right. You know, it's something, an initiative we started to better steward our donors, to make them feel appreciated and make that gift feel as appreciated as, as we uh, need it and have it to support us. And how important is it for a new athletes to come out here tonight and show their appreciation? It, it aligns with the Vince, Vincentian spirit of our university, right, to give back. And they, they recognize and appreciate the folks' um, time and commitment that they give to us as far as a donor. Um, and they really want to, they, they relish this. It's funny, at first they, they were trying to drag them along a little bit, but after they make a first few calls and they see how uh, the donor lights up, it, it really goes a long way for them too. The Purple and White Club really does so much for Niagara Athletics. Yeah, you know, the Purple and White Club is there to help um, supplement our operating budgets, right? The, the, the cost to operate Division I athletics continues to escalate and having those gifts to help support that student athlete experience so that they can tra train and compete at the highest level is important and, and obviously our donors help us do that. All right, Steve, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for being here. All right, now we're going to catch up with some of our Purple Eagle athletes. Let's see what they're up to. All right, guys, I'm over here with Zach Kolajewski. He is a junior on the baseball team here at Niagara. Zach, taking a break from the phones. Are you having fun today? Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, being able to talk, uh, I'm actually talking to baseball donors, so I'm able to talk to uh, my parents, my grandma, and uh, many other parents that I know. So I think you can really go a long way, Zach. I mean, they must really appreciate you calling. Yeah, um, hearing it from like a from actually a baseball player like really means more to them because they're able to connect more to like our athletes that they see, and they're able to see us in the spring play. So, mm -hmm. what does a day like today mean to you? Uh, it means a lot to me because uh, you know, small school. We want uh, it's tough to get money from everything, so it's really nice for these donors to go out of their way and really provide for us. Really helpful. Yes, very helpful. All right, Zach, thank you so much. Now I'm over here with sophomore lacrosse player, Bailey Collins. Bailey, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So what are you up to this evening? Uh, I'm participating, participating in the Thinkathon where we call supporters of the athletic program. Mm -hmm. So what does a night like this mean to you? It just shows how almost important the things that we do here at school are, it, and it's feels so good that so many people support us and be it um, alumni or family members or just friends in the university it just shows that there are people out there rooting for us mm -hmm. and the purple and white club really does help out Niagara athletics in so many ways mm -hmm. yes I agree completely mm -hmm. so how are your phone calls going uh, so far so good I've only t chatted with a few alumni but um, they all have wished me luck and said thank you very much for our support all right Bailey I'll let you get back to the phones thank you well, that wraps up another great Thankathon. Thank you to all of those who have supported Niagara Athletics. Again, I'm Courtney Corbetta. Thanks for watching.